Who needs a sauna? Move to the south. Good morning, beautiful people. It is another scorcher today, or at least it's gonna be. Right now it's, you know, early, not real early morning. I don't know, mid middle of the morning. And I'm getting out here and getting started. Uh, if you watched yesterday's video, I am having to build a chicken tractor because all of our chicken tractors change hands so the sun's not shining in your eye. Uh, all of our old chicken tractors that we've had are just, they've reached the end of their life. We got about, I don't know, four years out of them. Like they lasted okay. But as you can see, like they are just, they're done, they're tired. So I am building a new chicken tractor. Uh, these are kind of like the Salatin style chicken tractor. They're okay, they got the job done but I am building something I can actually get inside when it comes time to catch the birds or if I need to catch the birds for whatever. I'm building a Siskovich style chicken tractor. Basically got a lot of wood cut, uh, a lot of fitting with these with this design. That's where we're at. So I'm gonna get started. A lot of, a lot of this stuff. That's, that's what I'm working on. That's what's eating up the time. The way all this fits together. It's not hard work, it's just fiddly work. So I'm gonna grab the saw, put in the headphones, turn on my fan, and try to get as much done before it gets too hot. I got the canopy set up, so at least I have some shade. Uh, but yeah, it's supposed to be in the mid 90s today with humidity. Not fun to be out. I've had heat exhaustion before and the heat just kicks my butt. So I have to be careful about being out in the middle of the day heat. That said, I'm gonna get to work. What do you want, Millie? He's like, you're down in my space. sides in. I had to lay them on the ground just to get a feel for it. I'm not using any plans. I've physically touched one of these chicken tractors before, like enough to familiarize myself. I knew that I was going to be building chicken tractors sometime in the future and it was like, I don't know, last month sometime. Uh, I farm sat for Jason over at So The Land and so I, I got a good look at him. He has actually, he's got, you know, different iterations. The more he's familiarized himself, the more the, the chicken tractors change. And so I'm gonna build these just out of two by fours. I think he's building his even lighter. Uh, I'm afraid of building them too light and then you go over a rock or something or pull too hard and crunch and then you're having to repair anyway. So I'm, I'm building these kind of heavy. It's still probably not gonna be as heavy as one of these. Having the metal on them really adds a lot of weight. Um, this one is going to be eight feet by six feet. These ones are 
uh, six by six and just a little bit more room would be nice. This one, I don't know. Now that I've built it, I think I should have made it 10 feet, 10 feet by eight feet. Maybe that'll be the next one. I'm going to have to build more of them here pretty quick. So I'm not sure. All right. I'm out of water. I'm going to run up to the house and get my big jug of water. I'm sweating profusely. Who needs a sauna? Move to the south. You'll sweat out anything. All right, got the door frame in. I'm gonna take a break for a little bit and then I'll get back at it. Ready to put hardware cloth on it. Uh, and I think I'll build the door before I do hardware cloth. I've got the pieces cut for the door. I'm just making it out of deck board so it's light. Uh, same with the door frame. Um, I've still got to bend the conduit, the e EMT conduit, into the arches, which uh, I'm not sure how I'm going to do. I gave away my tubing bender before I moved out here. Maybe I'll build a tubing bender real quick. It was actually a tubing roller for doing like arches for like gates and stuff like that. I uh, don't see why it wouldn't work on conduit. It's usually meant for bending stuff like that on the rack. Square tubing. It'll bend pipe too. But anyways, yeah, door and hardware cloth. What do you think, sister? Do you like it? Just needs a latch and some hardware cloth. All right. Hmm, that looks like it defrosted well. <laughs> Not entirely. <laughs> oh, okay, that's fine. <laughs> I saw that. It's you down saw there that. on the ground. You saw nothing. Oh my oh. God. <laughs> He's only because you're filming. Get that camera out of my face. <laughs> Yay. All right, so what's for dinner besides uh, the obvious leftovers? Fast food, yes. So this is uh, our taco salad mix and then some chili that I've had in the freezer. Oh, there's I, chili too? Yeah, there's chili. I, oh, I brought that sweet. out for you. Yeah, I figured you'd be excited. So um, I just I just needed a quick, easy meal because it's a karate night, so. And you've yes. still been preparing yeah. things like so the, the sauce. Tomato sauce, I got it all milled and then oh, put in there beautiful. with our spices and all that so yeah quick easy meal if i can keep it off the floor <laughs> it's all right hey we uh we live in this kitchen we do so and so does our food stuff uh stuff gets spilled yeah yeah so i'm just gonna heat this up real quick and serve it with chips and kind of easy easy dinner yep I, I don't know if you guys were able to tell uh there was some some grumpy language uh, apparently I sweated my headphones to death. They, uh, that's kind of gross, but 
I broke them. So I'm on my, my broken backup pair that only half works. Uh, there's all sorts of stuff. I don't know if the camera was even on, but at one point I was like balancing a board with my knee, trying to get a screw in, and I reached back and grabbed my, my drill on my belt. Yeah. And there was a wasp <gasps> sitting on my drill. Like I half smashed it. Yikes. Like I just grabbed my drill and then, you know, instantly right. threw it. It's like, oh, man. what is that? Yeah. Yeah, there was a couple wasps that wouldn't leave me alone. I actually kind of wonder if there was wasp nests in the chicken tractors. Oh. And I brought them down there by the barn, and so now they've, they're they like trying Confused. to figure, figure yeah. out why their home moved. Oh, no. But yeah, they kept on buzzing me. Ah. But. I'm glad you didn't get stung. Yeah, me too. Especially like right on my hand, trying to do stuff with a club hand. Actually, I'm nearing done with these chicken tractors. I didn't intend for what chicken tractors. <laughs> I one. need, I need to build more. I'm only building one right now. I am nearly done. I have to bend the EMT and then put all the hardware cloth and chicken wire up. And I still haven't ordered a tarp. I have to order a tarp to put over the top because uh, I can't find white tarps anywhere in town. So maybe, maybe I should put the camera down and I'll go Go, go order real quick. Go order one real quick. That's okay. We can throw a sheet over it for a day or two while they're in there. I have a black tarp that would probably fit, but that's going to be so blasted hot in there in the sun. Black tarp in the sun. Yeah. Uh, uh, it's literally moving the chickens out of the hot shed, you know, yeah, out right. of the frying pan into the fire. I've got an old white tarp and it's not supposed to rain for a couple days. So. Or a sheet. Old white sheet. Okay. We can, we can figure we'll something figure out. Something out. I could always put a blue tarp on, but I think the blue on those things looks pretty janky, so. I don't think the chickens care. But I do. They'll be like, oh, look at the beautiful sky, it's so blue. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I guess I'll uh, check wait, back in, check back in a little bit. All right. All right, got the chips. Yep, sour cream, cowboy candy. Good. Go. Uh, I have the secret weapon I can add to chili to make it nice to eat. What's that? Oh. <laughs> These little guys right here. Yeah, those ones. These little guys. <laughs> Take one of those, cut it up real fine, add it to my chili. It's good for what ails you. <laughs> All right. That was actually, that hit the spot. Good. Good old chili. It was spicy enough as is. That was that was not the uh, kind of chili. Not uh, company chili. It's not company chili. Okay. We have we have family chili and then we have company chili. <laughs> and company chili is like it's, it's not spicy. Down. Yeah. It's uh it's below mild. Family chili. Pretty spicy. Yeah. <laughs> Good stuff. All right. With that said, that's gonna do it for us for today. So we will catch you guys on the next one. Bye.